Hello everyone, my name is David Miller. I'm the Senior Vice President for RKD Group and uh, oversee our Animal Welfare Department. Thanks for joining me today. I'm happy to share our 2023 unveiling of our benchmarks. Um, and so we all know that uh, 2022 was uh, a tumultuous year to say the least with, um, with the war in Ukraine, with inflation, with donor confidence dipping, but I'm happy to share some good news with you today. Uh, our RKD benchmarks for animal welfare are comprised of 80 plus animal welfare organizations like yours all across the country. Uh, this is probably the largest consortium of data uh, in the industry. and We're very proud to be able to kind of share results, uh, not only by region, but also by size of the organization as well. Uh, just a footnote, uh, these benchmarks, we try to exclude gifts of $10,000 or more so as not to skew the data. So that we're really uh, looking at this from an individual giving kind of standpoint. So without further ado, uh, we know that 2022, as I said, was, uh, was a difficult year, but there's good news. Uh, our benchmarks are showing that organizations in animal welfare are stronger post COVID than they were going into the pandemic. Uh, this is important because we saw large swings in other philanthropic sectors of peaks and valleys with, uh, you know, with varying degrees of giving uh, versus retention versus uh, loss. Uh, but we're happy to report that uh, animal welfare organizations are 31% higher revenue than 2018. So fabulous job to all of you. Second, donor value is actually reaching new heights as well. So not only are we seeing steady growth and continual growth in the benchmarks over the last five years, uh, we're seeing donor value uh, kind of peak as well. The only yellow flag that we would say is retention is softening. And part of that has to do just with the economy, the environment, uh, donor confidence. So if there is a, a yellow flag to kind of be forewarned is uh, pay attention to your donors and kind of steward them. And so that leads me into kind of the takeaways for us is, you know, we want to look at digital. You know, we know that more folks are giving digitally than maybe through the mail, uh, even though the generational studies are showing that direct mail is a trigger for online giving. Uh, but we will look at investing more into digital just because that's where technology is, is taking us. We're also looking at testing new community driven program language. So there's uh, the humane communities and uh, keeping pets in homes. And so we're focusing a lot on that type of messaging to try to help retain and grow donors. And then retention efforts. Uh, again, stewardship and mid and major donors are gonna get you through sometimes the tough times. So again, our focus is really to, to try to concentrate in those areas. If you do so, then we feel that you can kind of ride out this storm through at least the first part of 2023 and beyond. As always, if we can help you or want to look at how your organization compares in benchmarking, please don't hesitate to reach out to myself or anyone at RKD and happy to kind of walk you through those results. Thank you. Have a great day.